Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, your best source for the newest Atari games. And tonight we do have a new build, uh, exclusive <laughs> final build of Bruce Lee Return cool. of Fury for the Atari 8-bit system. Nice. So let's put up the sign for the Atari 8-bit system. Very nice. Make it official. Uh, yes, we have Bruce Lee Return of Fury 2022 exclusive final release for your 8-bit uh, computer system, Atari, uh, by Ute, uh, Phantomas, and uh, Constantinos Giamaladis, dis? Hmm. T-I-X. Uh, who did additional graphics for this game. Nice. Um, but first, I want to thank all the Twitch subscribers scrolling <laughs> down the side. Alan Fur, Arena Foot, Archimage, Armscar Coder, Atari 800 XL Rules, Atari 1974, Atari H, Atari Patch Quest, BR Polka, Buck Owens, Captain Man 2D, Charles Don Mail, Charles and Jack Charles Wound, Chick Gamer, Sheik Gamer, Colonel Lama, Cubanismo, DNO, Dan Fisi Drex, Dr. Moo, Cows, Emmy Dan, Go for Man, Great Defender, Ground Trooper, Johnny WC, Kabuto, JR, M. Carl G, Ken Jennings, Invader, Lambda, Spread Lauren, TDZ, Mark Yannis, Mark Spacing, Mick Muse, Mike Soul, Mike Tal, Miss Command, Mem, K Smith, Mr. Sunder, Mr. Fix, Money, Fun, Strain, the Strum, <sighs> Nostalgia, Pack, Ravi, D. Koagar, Antwitz, RC70, Rendigo, Spreadless, VG, Workout, Cardo Pimps, Rodcastle, Six Sweet, Smitty B, Spice Road, D Train, Welsh Man, Thrust, D Key, Tiki Dan, K T Fos, TM Events, <clears throat> Trek MD, 2600, X Ken X. And of course, all the people watching live and on YouTube. Yes, I don't want to forget about for uh, the people on YouTube. But if you want to get your name on the list, just hit subscribe and it's free with Amazon Prime. Just click the little, uh, uh, what are you doing, cat? He's, he's just playing with stuff. Click They're the all trying X, to get our attention. Like the checkbox. Ding, ding, ding. Is it tree time yet? Yes. <laughs> and speaking of that, it was broken last time. Oh, no. Because the program that makes that ding sound yeah when i loaded it up i didn't notice that it was wanting an update oh. and it's one of those programs that doesn't actually go to the program like it doesn't load up fully if you don't click past the if update? you don't click yes or no so oh, it just sat no. there prompting me oh, the no. whole time the whole episode did they miss all their treats they didn't because we saw it on the screen oh, so they good. got their treats but okay, it just good. didn't make the but noise you couldn't so. quite figure out why it wasn't going yeah because i was doing the show Brutal. so i couldn't be doing troubleshooting I hate, that. I hate it when they're in in, in separate um like like in, windows well, and, and then they and get hidden over. under other windows yes. so you don't even know it's so it's going on it yeah yeah oh this black cat so we're only about uh ow a week and a half away don't don't tease him. I he's know he's start, sharp he's right now. He's very sharp right now. Yeah. Uh, we can halfway from Portland Retro Gaming yeah. Expo, which I is believe. coming up real quick. It is after coming up so quick. many years. Um, but I do have a poll question uh, related to that. Um, there you go. What do you enjoy most at Retro Gaming Expos? Mm. Uh, first one is the shopping, which there's a lot of shopping usually at these things unless it's display only because there's some some like retro computer ones but, but there's there's, still there's some always shopping. A, yeah. a little bit of a little, a little bit of shopping, shopping going on so there, yeah. yeah the things you could buy there um number two the arcade a lot of them have free play or at mm -hmm. least arcade games set up um number three the talks which are always very <clears> interesting <throat> they have a mix of like um people like youtube celebrities and people who made the games and just people knowledgeable people um people who know how to program games and they do talks and stuff mm -hmm. um yeah if you want to vote for two of them put the two numbers with a space yeah or three and numbers you can with a space vote for more than one you can yes yeah yeah, yeah if, it registered yeah four and three uh number four meeting like-minded people yes which is always fun it's like oh yes. i know you from online or uh, yeah. you know you just go up to a table and start talking with them about their game yeah. or whatever uh just retro computer stuff uh number five the competitions of which there's usually competitions i know portland mm -hmm. holds the tetris world championships which is amazing to watch. It's crazy it's amazing to, watch. to watch. Bam, 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 bam. Are we going to be around to watch it this year? Or is it, is it on no, the last it's, day, I it's think? It's usually on the last oh, day. I mean, sucks. there'll be competition, but we yeah. won't see the finals because we won't be the there. The finals are always the impressive, though. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the cosplay. Mm -hmm. Some people like, uh, you know. I'm seeing... always impressed with, with yeah. how creative people are and how, how elaborate their costumes yeah. are. Or number seven, don't go to them. <laughs> maybe you've never been to one, so you don't know what you enjoy. That's true. Um, I love all of that. Uh, um, I, I like the shopping because it's easy to find everything mm -hmm. there. It's like the biggest culmination of mm -hmm. stuff. 
Um, we don't take advantage of the arcade area too much. So. I think we do a fair amount. I like the talks. I like yeah. meeting people. Yeah. Uh, competition, we go to a bit of that. We go to a bit of the gameplay. So I, th I think uh, uh, the cosplay. So I'm going to do one, three, four. Yeah. I think. But I like all of it. Yeah. Yeah. I would say for myself, yeah. I do also like the shopping. <laughs> yes. Um, and I do really like the arcade. It's just wonderful yes. to be in a place and you can just play oh. as long as you can get on the on the machines. Yeah. So luckily, so one and two are high for me. Luckily, Portland Retro Gaming Expo has a whole day set aside for the arcade. Yeah. And usually, not many people are there during that time. And then I do like the competitions and the cosplay. So those, I, I might yeah. I might lean towards the competitions because I think I watch a lot more of them. So mm. it would be one, two, and five for me. I won't okay. type it in because it's re repeating what you have. Yeah. And I'm not signed in on my phone. No. This cat is sharp. He is oh, very we're sharp. We're going to have to cut his claws. You're you don't sharp. know what's coming, do you? Sharp clawed cat. Yeah. I, I see a Pareto in his future. <laughs> that didn't work. Um, so yeah. this past, well, yesterday, technically, was my birthday. Yeah, happy birthday. Thank you very much. <laughs> and so we went out on the weekend for uh, movies, dinner, yes. and arcade. Yay, yes, we did. Which was lots of fun. Um, actually, mm -hmm. let's take a look at the uh, games that I played. Um, let me just load it up one second so you guys can see. <laughs> Uh, yeah, we went to our local arcade. I think it's the other one, right? Uh, That's you. Oh, this is fine. This okay. One. This I'm one's saying, fine. Just... Or is it? No, this one's not fine. <laughs> we'll go to zero page. Yeah. That's because I, I think you it posted there. on zero page. Right? I did. Yeah. Yeah. I have a private account. Yeah. <laughs> not that it's giving anything away. But, not You know, really. it's just. Uh... Uh, okay. There Yay. we are. Uh, so let's take a look <clears throat> at that. Because I love our local arcade, which is uh, Capital City Arcade. Yes, they're wonderful. They're not They're not a huge arcade, uh, a small they're venue. Decent. They pack they a lot have, of games they in. They pack a lot in there uh, in, in New Westminster. In yes, British about Canada. a half an hour from us. Uh, uh, yeah, half an hour from Downtown Vancouver. Vancouver. Downtown Vancouver. So. Um, and they had 1942, which I think yeah. they didn't before, yeah, I think which they... was very exciting because we played it on the show. So I had tons of practice and I played my best game I've ever played. Yeah. What are you doing, Cap? Um, and I took a screenshot of it. Uh, it's 100 and 167,020. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So I was able to compare to the 7800 port and it translates, it translates really, really well. well. Yeah. And Tanya played it as well. I did. I um, did. You can see. There she is. My score was not nearly that high. <laughs> but, um, and I found it a lot faster. I think that was the one thing I noticed was yes. the, 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 Airplanes flying in and out seemed a little faster. The movement seemed a little faster and was therefore more okay. challenging. I'm not sure if on the arcades they adjust those things. Like, uh, there's some settings that they can do. I don't know. I'd have to yeah, look at the manual. Yeah, but um, but other than that, it felt very close to to the version we played. Yes. So, um, like on the console. Oh. So, uh, it was fun. yeah, it translates it was really fun. well over to it. So the practice worked really there really well yeah it was faster probably because of the the height yeah of the screen it has more vertical room yeah for the planes to go so they had to slow it down for ports which yeah. makes total sense because you would just die i definitely have um resting gamer face going on there <laughs> very seriously playing that game um let's see if i can make this bigger what the hell i don't know no no it's okay. Maybe if I do that. Oh, sort of. Uh, oh, there oh, we go. Ha -ha. Found that worked. Uh, there's also Tutankham. Calm. Yeah. Uh, which I know Champ Games is Games is working on. Um, I got an okay score. It was it was fun. Mm -hmm. It was fun. So I'm looking mm -hmm. really looking forward to it because it has a really fun gameplay. Uh, Satan's Hollow. Unfortunately, oh. joystick. He's looking for proper springs. Yeah. It, so the springs were a little bit. It loose. was a little off. I did play it, but it. I it played was it a bit once, off. but it was yeah. a little bit off. So yeah. he's he's gonna fix it. Play Obviously. Galaga. Didn't do super well. Did okay. You did pretty well on your game. Sometimes you just 70, pick it up and it works something? out really well. Yeah, yeah, I did better than I usually play. See the top players. Four hundred and fifty-four thousand. <laughs> Not me. Not my score. Nope. <laughs> Moon Patrol. I played lots of fun. Uh, Tapper, yep. I, I came in second. The for Budweiser top scores. version, as you were pointing out. That's not the right. Root beer not version. the Rubier version. Uh, Arkanoid, okay, I buddy. played. 
uh, which is great in the arcade because a lot of home ports don't have that proper spinner that mm. you need. I know the NES released a spinner just for this game. I don't mm. have that spinner. Um, cool. Super Pac-Man we both played. Yeah. It was a lot of fun. Yeah. Um, uh, Thief, which I've never, never even seen before. Never heard of that before. game before. It's very Pac-Man-esque. Um, it's eating dots in a maze. Uh, They're actually yeah. dollar bills because you're a thief stealing things. And there's a whole bunch of... Uh, police police chasing you, not ghosts or yeah. monsters. Um, and the f the interesting thing about this game, and specifically Pacific Novelty Manufacturing games, yeah. I looked up. Okay. Um, this one had a tape loop playing. Yes. A recording of the police chasing after you, and it's, like they're radioing back and forth. It's the police each other. radio. Yeah. So as you're playing the game, it's, it's like, playing. We've almost got him. Oh, he got away. Yeah. He's on Olympus. Oh my! Oh my God! Is it coming in an oncoming traffic? Yeah. Watch out, car eight! And it just it goes so on a loop. It was kind of cool, especially for eighty one. People are probably playing. And go, wow! Look at sound. Look yeah. at the sound coming out. It's just a tape. Yeah. But other games that they made also had that technology of playing a tape loop in the background. Yeah, yeah. Which was a lot of fun. Yeah, a game I'd never seen before. I'd no, never played it before. Was it was not fun. a bad, you know, maze Pac-Man clone. Yep. They had this fun display on the wall. Everybody from the 80s knows these uh, stickers. Yep. Uh, scratch and sniff stickers. Yep, yep, yep. And can probably recall all of them. I can. Uh, grape stuff is one I remember seeing a lot. And no, that oh, skunk, them. which I took oh, personally stinky. when I was a kid. And that one too, the roller skate. Yes, the so roller skate one. Stinky. <laughs> I don't know the Fantastic. Was that Soapy? Or like air freshener. I don't. Type? I don't remember. I remember the root beer and the grape stuff. Chocolate was stank. It, um, it kind of. Wrecked. I remember the dill pickle. Yeah. And the pizza, the peppy mints I really liked. Yeah, I remember most of them and the banana yep. one. Appealing, yeah. but they're all the the smells like the fake smells the fake smells do they still like the sell them do they still have them i really wish they I did those were so know. awesome i remember the skunk and there's the outside of yeah the arcade. anyway that's a little bit of nostalgia there yeah it was a lot of fun yeah. uh it's a, a vancouver international film festival in vancouver so every year it's like right around my birthday like yeah. my birthday takes place right in the middle of it so yeah. we always go out for movies yes and we go out for dinner and we go yeah. uh now we've incorporated the arcade the past couple of years uh, so it's a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. Very fun time. Um, so my friend gave this to me, the same person who gave me the Intellivision, the yes. Sears Intellivision, mm -hmm. um, or whatever it's called by Sears. Uh, I don't think they do call it the Intellivision. Sears something. Mm -hmm. um, this wasn't for my birthday. He just gave this to me because he was like cleaning things out. Yeah. Uh, Game Boy, original Game Boy in the box. That is awesome. And it is like pristine really? condition. Wow. The box is pristine. Yeah. It's got the Game Boy looks good. <laughs> the Game Boy looks amazing. I'll show everyone here. Uh, it's got all the like the the only thing it's missing is the game, which I already have the game, so I can put that in. And the batteries. Yeah. Um maybe the charger actually. I don't think it has the charger in here. Hmm. Um but that is not too big of a deal. It has but the all Game the... Boy all the manuals and everything is looking good. Really good. The colors and there's the rest of it. You guys can't see it. Real traditional Game Boy. Like there's like, no no scratches on it. No discoloration. Came with all the the manuals and that everything. That's so cool. Um, I don't think I don't know if these are original, but I'd have to look it up. Uh, does it have red and I blue on the headset? Have, but anyway, could have been his own. Yeah. Could very, be very as a substitute. Cool. That's very yeah, cool. very, very nice of really him nice, to um, yeah. give this to me. Uh, he had no use for it anymore, and he knows that I like retro game stuff. Yeah. Actually, I'll put that away later. Oh, it's too that hard. fell. Watch out. There's a cat going for your too hard cord to put things there. away. And yeah. also, he had in the box as well. Uh, this one's a bit uh, ripped up. The cleaning kit for the Game Boy. Nice. So and you that's... put it in the slot and take it out again. Oh, for, for the actual. Um... Uh, cartridge, cartridge port. Yeah. I was gonna say maybe that's why it's so clean, but no, maybe. it's for just the cartridge. <laughs> but he's 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 the guy who keeps hmm. things very clean and neat and doesn't destroy things. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it is. It was a very nice birthday outing. Thank you, nostalgic. Uh, lots of scratch and sniff stickers on Amazon. Doesn't look like they have the classic designs. No, though. I wish oh, at the classic designs. I, I think I wish people they would like the classic designs because so they'd be too. like, oh, that's 
crazy. Very retro 70s. Yeah, super 80s. retro. Yeah. Um, so there was a, an update from Pac-Man Plus, not about games, mm. but he uh, posted this yesterday. He said, hey guys, thank you so much for checking in on me. That really means a lot because people know he lives in Florida. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm about three hours south of, south, south of Orlando. Cape Corral, Fort Myers was hit hard from this hurricane. It basically made landfall here. I still, wow. have, I still have no power or internet at home. I'm at my sister's house who has a generator and I'm using my cell phone for internet. We just got water back. Oh, wow. Sanibel Island is completely cut off. The only road in and out was destroyed. I saw that in the news. Wow. Um, a lot of damage to buildings. The gated community here has a lot of mobile homes destroyed. We got lucky, though. Only minimal damage. Screens ripped. Outside lights broken. Uh, back roll cage won't open. Wow. We stayed even though we were told to leave. Bad. I know people people get really concerned about <laughs> their do. property too which I understand like theft so. or damage yeah. or things floating away or uh, yeah. yeah but, but you, life is most important life is most important he says I know stupid but I wanted <laughs> to make sure the house was okay yeah I was concerned about the storm surge but luckily the canals didn't overflow my street yeah LCEC is saying it could be from one to three weeks before we get power oh, back that's rough wow I hope everyone else here from Florida did okay too. Thanks, guys, Bob. So stay nice. safe, Bob. Yes. And everyone else who lives in that area or in the on path, the coast, even the whole East Coast, um, really, all, up, all up the way to up Canada. to Canada with with the last hurricane too. Home so. sliding into the water. Oh, I know. No bad. Sharp cat. cat, you're too sharp. Um, you're too sharp. Too sharp. Too sharp. So um, <laughs> there's a, a new Mr. Yo-Yo animation by Atari 2600 okay. Boy who did the artwork for the physical release of the box. Let me just get up. Cat. <laughs> Don't <laughs> kick the cats. Uh, um, so he did the artwork for the box. You might want to flip over there. Just yeah. To, yeah. So you can see it. Um, for the box art right here. Nice. Um, and um, he decided he wanted to do an animation. He's, mm. he's done animations before. So here we go. It's no sound, but uh, he's just started it. He hasn't finished it yet. So this is just part of it. So it's a perfect representation of, of, <laughs> of the game itself. And he's posted some other shots of what he's working on and the uh, storyboard. Um, it looks really, really good. It is very cute. Super cute. Yeah. And, I love the uh, determination of the yo-yo to get that <laughs> to get that note get at the, the bottom. Get the note, yeah. And, and just after that, the other the bad guys come from the sides. Just just after he sees the note, so nice. Really nice um, you know, um, animation, very smooth. Yeah, looks, looks maybe fifteen frames of uh, uh, a second. Yeah, very nice. Yeah, really really nice. So who who did, who put that together? Uh, Atari Twenty Six Hundred Boy, who does uh, a bunch of artwork. Okay. Uh, for for packaging. the games and the packaging. Okay. Yeah, uh, specifically, you know, Mr. Yo Yo here. Um, uh, but it's not rotating. Yeah. Oh, well, then you couldn't see his face. Yeah. I th I also, he would fine. get very dizzy. Yeah. <laughs> I know it, it does rotate in the in the game, but it's a little bit slower. <laughs> <laughs> and yes. I would get dizzy looking at him probably. Yeah. But, uh, but it's su it so is super cute. cute. Yeah. You're, you're right, Dan. <laughs> uh, so let's. Um, let's take a look at the game we're going to be playing tonight. Okay. Um, kind of, we did play this before, yes. about a year ago. Yes. So we're not going to dive it. too deep into the game as we did last time. So if you want to learn more, did you show off that yet? My last last episode, oh, okay. yeah, and we'll show it off again when we do the. She's talking about the Coleco controller. Well, the cat's chewing the box. The Coleco controller is in right uh, now. They're so, they're so bad. Bad cat. We'll talk about that bad <laughs> I cat I apologize later. for interrupting, but yeah, he's the one doing the interrupting. So let's take a look at the original um, eight-bit version. <laughs> yep. Of Bruce Lee, uh, that this one is an extension of. So okay. the, the original one was from. Um, 1984. So we can take a look at this one. Make sure I don't blast your ears. Oh, this is in mono. Oh well. Everybody's left ear can enjoy this. <laughs> <laughs> or right. I mean, you could. You well, could you could have it on backwards. Around. Yeah. That's true. Um, so here's the game. Um, 
Bruce Lee is a platform game written by Ron J. Forche for the Atari 8-bit family and published in 1984 by Datasoft. The graphics are by Kelly Day, music by John A. Fitzpatrick. Uh, the player takes in the role of Bruce Lee while a second player controls either Yamo or alternates with player one for control of Bruce Lee. Gotcha. Gameplay. The Bruce Bruce and the ninja are fighting at the bottom center. Yamo is preparing to fall from the left-hand platform. Oh, that was a screenshot, obviously. Mm -hmm. The hat you guys can't see. The plot involves the eponymous... Eponymous? Eponymous. Uh, martial artist advancing from chamber to chamber in a wizard's tower, seeking to claim infinite wealth and the secret of immortality. Ooh. There are 20 chambers, each represented by a single screen. Uh, with platforms and ladders. To progress, the player must collect a number of lanterns suspended from various points in the chamber. And you can see them there. They're kind of blinking in the middle of the lantern. Uh, uh, most chambers are guarded by two mobile enemies, the ninja, who attacks with a uh, boken stick, and the green yamo, a large unarmed warrior, usually uh, visually styled as a sumo wrestler, mm. but attacks with punches and crushing kicks, mm. in quotes. Uh, on platforms with sufficient graphic support, Yamo's skin is actually pictured green, which is in this game and the one we'll play. Though the cover art, he has a natural human skin tone, which is very strange. I don't know why they made him green. Mm. Um, a multiplayer mode allows a second player to control Yamo or to allow two players alternately controlling Bruce. Um... So that's enough talking about it. Mm -hmm. Oh, we'll talk more about it later. Um, so that is the Atari version. I played the C64 version. Gotcha. Because um, I had a C64. Oh, let's actually pause that video. So that's not going in the background <laughs> yeah, the whole time. Uh, um, so this, uh, it was recently, within the past couple of years, uh, redone as Bruce Lee Return of Fury with all new levels mm. on the C64 um, by Vidar Bang, also known as DMX. Um, and you can see this is uh, their page right here. Um, well, this is one of the pages. The story so far, 35 years later, the evil empire ha emperor has risen again to power. Only one man can save the day, and we all know who. Bruce's longtime foes, the Green Yamo and the Black Ninja, have been recruited once more, and they are, as always, hell bent on foiling any progress Bruce might make in his attempt to overthrow the evil emperor. Um, I think, yeah, this is the updated version. Yeah, final working version. So this is Return of Fury Plus, the final version for the C64. Um, a version with alternative sprites by TIX. Okay. So TIX not only did the sprites mm. for this C64 version, but he did some sprites for the Atari 8-bit version that we're going to be playing today nice. as well. Okay. Very talented. Yep. Uh, who also did the graphics for 1942. Oh, very right? nice. There we go. Um, it all links together. <laughs> yep. So some of these, uh, some of these things are a little different than the 8-bit. There is easy hard mode on the 8-bit version. Uh, I don't know about, know about competition mode. There are trainers um, with infinite lives, which we'll be employing because we don't know if we'll... We probably won't make it all the way through. Well, just <laughs> 20 screens, you said? Or there's uh, more on this one? There, I counted 26. That might be my plus minus two. Okay. I, I skimmed through it, yeah. Um, I don't think there's three-player action because there isn't a multi-port here. I think they have a special port for the C64, mm -hmm. but there is two-player support, so you can play the Yamo version mm -hmm. as well. 26. Yes, I counted mm -hmm. correctly. So we do have uh, Ute, Ute in the chat. He's the developer, one of the developers of Return of Fury mm -hmm. for the Atari 8-bit. So if you have any questions uh, about the programming or anything behind it, just fire them over to... Ute? <laughs> I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. And we'll ask some questions of him as well. Um, so normal mode, three continues available, normal gameplay hard mode, which I will play on, mm -hmm. uh, but with unlimited lives, uh, faster enemies and no continues, but you can set continues as well. Mm -hmm. uh, for Kung Fu Masters only, it says on this page. Um, so there's the original... Uh, uh, credits for the game. Here is the Return of Fury for the C64 credits. Alternative sprite set. And that's how it works for the Atari 8-bit as well. Um, the alternative sprites. Um, there's two versions of this game. And the alternative sprites, uh, at least on the 8-bit, Atari 8-bit version, 
makes the game harder because Bruce is a little bit less wide. So you have one less pixel when you're jumping off oh, and I one see. less pixel when you're landing. Okay. So it makes it that much more difficult. Okay. Which is the game I'm going to play, that version. And you'll play the easier version okay, to good. begin with. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, and uh, on this blog, actually, it says one thing that really made my day was when Ron, uh, Mr. Ron Fortier himself quoted the release tweet uh, and said, looks fantastic, oh. starstruck. And there is the tweet from the original developer of the game oh, about wow. the Commodore 64 version. That's awesome. Looks fantastic. It's always great when, you know, you can see people continuing on your games uh, yeah. so much they, they enjoy it so their much arts, really yeah they want to make more of it because they nice. want more and and, it, and that they're encouraging other people to do it too because some people too. can become really protective right so yeah and yeah. i mean a lot of these developers work for a company that they didn't own so oh, they're like yeah. i don't care yeah yeah <laughs> that's great but it's right? nice i i think it's always that is nice really, really and very nice. encouraging yeah. so that's really cool um so before we switch away from this screen we're going to look at the totals because they will disappear unfortunately mm -hmm. um, so people go mostly for the talks and meeting people oh i would have thought shopping would have been number one but it's not it's actually in fourth place after the arcade area i can yeah. see why that's popular and then shopping with uh 16 percent mm -hmm. and nobody likes the competitions uh, one person or oh, two people like the cosplay. I would cosplay. have said competition, but cosplay I would have gone in for too. So yeah. I like that as well. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. Uh, nobody answered that don't doesn't didn't go to them. Yeah. So there well, we go. We know our crowd. Yeah, we do. <laughs> I mean, they're really they're so, really fun. So sorry, to go it was to. it was the talks and meeting people. Yeah, that's that cool. Most I like people that. go for. Yeah. Yeah, I really like the talks. I, I I enjoy the talks, but I think I like the arcades. <laughs> yes, <laughs> the arcade is fun because it. it's only usually I'm free play, yeah. and you. Just it's part of more. getting in. And, like, you and don't have to pay extra for the arcades once Most of us don't have arcade machines at home, so it's just yeah. really cool to play the arcades and pinball as well. I'm a big fan of pinball. Oh, that would be number seven, BR Pocock. Never been to one or don't go to them. Yeah. Same same kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah, um, yeah especially the arcade machines that have special controls or you sit in them. Yes. Or, mm -hmm. you know, you can't replicate those controls at home. Yeah. Yeah, thing, games like that. Games that really, to get the experience, you want to play the arcade version. Yes. So, um, but, yeah, pinball as well, I think. I enjoy it. I enjoy oh, it. Oh, yeah, the pinball. Like pinball. You can, it's just, unless you have one at home, there's no replicating. You know, especially, they usually have a very large selection of pinball <sighs> machines. So and there's a lot games. to try Hundreds. and play. Yeah. Okay, so okay. let's get to... The game. Mm -hmm. Exclusive final version. Thank you so much, Ute, yep. for... Uh, no, this isn't a world premiere. <laughs> I, I do play that for world premieres like it's never been shown to anyone yeah. before, but this is an exclusive at least yeah. uh, for the final game because we have played this game before. Um, so, Bruce Lee Return of Fury for the Atari 8-bit computer system by Ute, mm -hmm. uh, Phantomas, and TIX. So, uh, just move the joystick and it'll go off the screensaver, I think, or press the button. Nope. That's it plugged in. <laughs> yep. Uh, so, you play the non TIX ver TIX version. This one? Yeah. So, that's for me. That's for you. You should put my name on in, in the... <laughs> Should I add <laughs> your is. name to the uh, file name? R oh, here's a beautiful uh, title screen <clears throat> uh, by Spark. It's gorgeous. Somebody named Spark. That's yep. amazing. Yeah. Uh, and, uh, Look at the definition in the chest. <laughs> cool. Like, I'm yeah, impressed. That guy I'm was impressed. He, yeah. Oh, yes. <laughs> uh, so you can press the button. Okay. It's always funny whenever there's... I don't know. It's specifically on the more advanced systems, okay. like beyond 2600. That's normal. It's okay. Is it? Okay, um, good. Especially on the 8-bit and maybe a little bit on the 7800, there's so much argument about colors and graphics yeah. And especially title screens. Oh. So there's a bit of back and forth about the title screen for this game. Okay. Um, that people are like, oh, you need these colors. No, switch to this mode. Or no, I like the other picture better. It's always so funny. Yeah. Uh, so programming, RJF, RJ RJ4J. Uh, graphics, Kelly Day. ROF, uh, Return of Fury mod by DMX. So that was the person who did the uh, C64 version. Mm -hmm. And the R of F Atari version, Ute and Phantomas. So, fire. Oh, wait, wait. 
great the music. Sound in there, yeah. Yeah, and Good. I've got a list of all the updates. Okay. And I believe this music was added nice. from the last time. Nice. Um, colors, da, 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 blinking. Uh, music added to credit screen, game over screen, and final screen. So this was already in here. Uh, and I, I know this music so well from the C64 version. Yeah. Okay, so press the button. And we'll get to the options. Okay. Um, so go up to... No, that's, that's fine. We'll leave it on CPU and single player for now. Uh, hard mode, leave it off for you. I, I am Roaming not going to do very well. Leave it off. Okay. Unlimited falls. Um, we'll put it on for now so you can just keep playing. So I okay. can. Okay. And then we'll switch so you can play the other mode. Yeah. yeah. And sprite collisions on because that's essentially cheat mode so nobody can hurt you. Uh, if it's off, you mean? Yeah, if it's yeah. off. So we want them on. Fair enough. And Yamo color, you can pick between green and flesh. So I like let's, green. Let's do flesh for yours so we can see it. Okay. And then I'll do green. But for green my is play. traditional, right? Green is the original, yeah. Because um, it makes them look like an ogre a little. Yeah, it's, which is it's good. weird and different. Yeah. I like it. Yeah, okay. Oh, uh, this is a, a 64K system. So it okay. plays on 64. It's stock. Yeah. I mean, a stock 64, but I'm not sure how low you can go for the RAM. Mm. Uh, stock Atari should have enough RAM. Mm -hmm. Which one? An Atari 400? <laughs> or this Atari? Because <laughs> when you say XL? stock, I don't know what that... Yeah, Yeah, because there's so many different Ataris. Yep. Um, so, start the game. I'm... So this build is from today. So... You have to jump up for the lanterns. That's the jumping. I'm just reminding myself. Yeah. I'm going to turn up the volume, adjust punch. the volumes. Uh, yeah, there's punch. There's kick when you're running. When you're running. And you can duck as well by pressing down. Oh, oh, it's like flat on the ground. <laughs> it's like a flat cat. Oh, I like that. It's very, it's very flat. flat cat. You can't see me. That's probably the uh, lowest ducking of any game I've ever seen. kind of glad it starts on the screen. And there's lots of little fun blinky-eyed guys in the background of a lot of screens and a lot of little animations. Yeah. Catch you say? <laughs> um, stock Atari it's 800. Yum, 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 oh, yum. that's why you say cat. Oh, rendered ghost has triggered the cat alarm. What? What do you want? It's treat time. It is treat time for all oh boys. For cats. So we'll just be in the background there for a little bit while we calm these cats down. How do I jump across? Uh, you have to get very close to the edge. Okay. And it's up and over, but a little hint, get a little bit closer. Just touch a little closer. You can go up first and jump up and then slightly rotate to the right. Nope. Keep pressing up. There. Okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, sorry. Sorry, kittens. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> it's your mother's fault. She distracted. Oh. I went for you, good kitty. How do I get up there? Oh, to the ladder? You just, you just press up. No, over to the here. Oh, you, um, there you go. Oh, ah! too far. And dead. I know you hit it. So, do I just die here? No. Oh, oh you, don't, you don't stand on those. You have to keep moving over okay. those. But no, I, how do I jump over? No. Uh, up and over. Up and over? Yep. Just like you're jumping over a platform. Jump a touch early. No. Up and to the right. Ding it. There you go. Oh my goodness. You have to keep jumping in succession. Okay, I have to get that timing down then. Yeah. And, uh, oh. No, just keep holding. Keep holding up? Keep holding the jump. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Oh no. At least I got it. Yeah. Challenging. Here we go. Oh. And a couple more left. Do I jump to the right? Can I jump to the right? Yep. A uh, sprite is. T oh, that's not your bell. Sprite's tail is fluffier. It's getting fluffier by the day. Okay, we've got two more. Who's going to claim them? Sprite's going to claim them. Okay, one more left. Atari. Oh, you both get one. Okay. Both get one. 
Good question. What uh, programming language was this coded in? And uh, pure assembly, uh, Ute says. No. Squeeze the most. Now my hand's stinky, so I'll be right back. No, there's a wall. Oh. But I will switch back so you guys can see. Better than the last time I played, I barely got anywhere from what I recall. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, some things have been fixed, so it might have been um, altered. This sprite's still bigger than he is. <laughs> uh, it might be. It might be longer. So, uh, the release notes for this version of the game. Oh, oh, you have to walk. You're safe when you jump because you're just to the left of it. Oh, really? So, if you jump and then just stand, oh, you have to get right oh, to the edge. Oh, no. Um, release notes for this. The starting credit screen changed to more closely match the C64 colors. Uh, starting option screen changed to more class, uh, closely match the C64 colors. Added two more options, hard mode and roaming foes to match the C64. More colors added to level 14 so that it more closely resembles C64. Added extra lives to the DMX screen in the beginning that matches the C64. Added high resolution to the moon levels. Added high resolution to the sun level final level. Made color and animation changes to the get ready and player screen. Added the cow moo on map 11 to match the C64 version. I think we no. talked about the, the cow moo that wasn't there. No. Yeah, yeah. Added blinking to level 21 to match the C64. Fixed the Emperor, Wizard, Moving Head, and Fireballs. Getting hit by a fireball from the Emperor will now kill Bruce. Oh, it didn't before. Um, it didn't touch me last time. I, I recently rewatched it. So uh, I didn't notice that bug. Added a longer Yamo respawn time on the Crushing Spikes level. Emperor's death now causes shaking screen. Ooh, can't wait to see that. To resemble the C64 version. Added slightly longer jumping distance on easy mode. Oh, there's a difference on easy and hard as well. So this is going to be a... Oh, I don't yeah. know what it is, is I can't jump without jumping up first. Oh. So do you have to go to on the diagonal? I can't quite Oh, it is the that. diagonal, yeah. It is the diagonal. Up and to the right, or up and to the left is jump. No, but you said up and to the right, so I've been going up and to the right. I well, thought that's what you had to do. Well, that was a way to practice it, so you don't accidentally run off. So it's like a rotation, but no, it's just up and to the right. Up and to the right. Oh, well, that... You mean diagonally. Yes, diagonally. Sorry, not a rotation of up and to the right. Um... Gotta removed. Be, you gotta be clear in your language. <laughs> well, I was I was doing it so it, it uh, showed an easy way for you to do it. That wasn't easier because it. it doesn't. Remove spikes on screen two for easy mode. Oh, it is frustratingly awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Spotlights and fires are now spaced further apart on easy mode. Slightly longer delay for electricity and spotlights on easy mode. Oh boy, hard modes can be fun. Yeah. Spotlights and rats. Rats? I don't remember rats. On level 23 now match the C64. Fixed game over screen to display number of lamps collected, which is great. Music added to credit screen, game over screen, and final screen. And a bunch of bug fixes that um, we reported on um, were fixed as well. A problem exiting level 13. Um... A problem when player two gets a second lantern on a level, revealing the ladder and dies, making it impossible to continue. Um, let's see. Oh, some noise issues. Um, player two's turn, impossible to pass a level. And uh, yes, and I'll read this other thoughts a little bit later. Getting lots of practice on this level? No, it's it's getting that final diagonal without accidentally going up. Because oh. it, it'll hit you if you run across. So you, the timing on that third platform what is very challenging. <sighs> See, I'm trying to be very deliberate with going on the diagonal, but yeah. it's very sensitive. So I'm trying to... Yeah, see, like that was supposed to be a diagonal. <laughs> yeah. 
It's very sensitive on the diagonals. Thank you for following Sparrow the Dragoon. Oh. Glad you're enjoying. Oh. I just can't do it fast enough. You probably need to jump a little bit earlier so you don't land right on that spike triggering it. Because yeah. you because then you'll have some more time. Stop it. Yeah, and then you fall off. <laughs> it's like I'm trying to hit the diagonal, hit the diagonal, and then it's like up. Oh, there we go. Oh, come on. Hello, Sparrow the Dragon. Rare. Welcome. Like a spiky black cat right now. Oh, not too close. You'll land in the, that uh, trigger again. It's, I'm not, I'm not landing in the trigger. I'm, it's doing that, see? And then I jump up instead of on the diagonal, so I'm not getting there fast enough. Oh, yeah, I have here. to kind of run and jump at the same time. Just run and then rotate up to yeah, jump maybe. at the end of it. I'm trying to be deliberate, but then maybe I'm being too deliberate. Yeah. You can't land on it because you won't have time to start moving. Thank goodness again. you have it on infinite falls. <laughs> yeah. And that's the thing you have to you you can't miss a single of those diagonals or. Sandra says it might help to just keep running right then move the diagonal when you need to jump. Maybe. Yeah, but I'm not hitting the diagonal. That's kind of the problem. Yay! Here we go. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Thank you. <laughs> Nostalgic uh, was correct. So games that Ute has made, as far as I can tell, this is the only game that I can find of him making on the Atari 8-bit system. Um, at least that he's talked about in the Atari Age forums. You can correct me if I'm wrong, Ute, uh, if you've made other... Um, oh! <laughs> I timed that games. wrong. Uh, Phantomas, as far as I could find, uh, Bruce Lee, uh, Return of Fury, and L'Abbé de Mart. La Bay de Mort. La Bay? La Bay. La Bay. La Bay. De Mort. De Mort. I'm saying it in a French way, but yes. It is a French word, yeah. La Bay? La Bay. You sound like you're saying the B in French. <laughs> the B in French? La Bay, which La is bay? a different It's a different word, but. Okay. La Bay. Well, there's two B's in this. No, but it's Abbey, right? Ab yes. The Abbey, Abbey of the Dead. Yes, the Abbey yeah. of the Dead. Um, <laughs> and this version will be available uh, soon, either uh, during the uh, end of the show or after the show. So take a look in the forums for that. Oh. Get those lanterns. Oh, I forgot about the lanterns. Avoid it. Uh, oh, you landed <gasps> on it. No. Start from the top. Yeah, I start from the top again. Smoosh, smoosh. They have very, very simple AI. <laughs> oh, Too that was slow. terrible. I was Too not paying attention slow. properly. So last Friday, approximately a year after we played the game last, yeah. uh, Ute posted in the Atari Age forums, I got a little free time and decided to polish and complete Return of Fury. Uh, I'm just testing on a real hardware before I release it. I'm seeing a weird issue on my 800XL, but it seems to run perfectly on my 130XE. Uh, we are running it on an 800XL. So far, so good. Um, some glitches while loading, like it looks weird, but it's fine. Just ignore it. Um, oh, gosh. I'm also seeing I'm weird I'm listening issue to you and not paying attention. <laughs> Sorry. Also seeing a weird issue in emulation that doesn't happen on real hardware. And I read the development notes that were posted along with this. Antic mode four graphic character graphics. Mode five mostly, mode F and mode four use a couple places. I need to have a, like a cheat sheet in front of me for all these modes, for all these different systems so I know what it means. Because each mode has a different resolution and a different number of colors that it can display. And they're always a trade-off. Oh, don't oh, run. Tried to... What? Don't run on that? Oh my god. Why are you kicking? Oh my god. I'm not trying to kick. I was trying to jump. <laughs> Kicking's the button. Um, yeah. Jumping, I think, gives you a bit more uh, hang time than, um, than kicking. Because I know on the 7800, most people use, like, 320 mode. Okay. 320 mode A and B, which is like 320 across, and gives you like a 
bunch of colors. And, and not, or 160, sorry, 160 A and B. Um, and 320 gives you less colors, so people only use that for high resolution graphics like uh, different, like uh, screens with um, like instructions. Or maybe pictures they want to look really, really high resolution. They don't need as many colors on the on the screen. <laughs> that was just cute. looks so stunned. Oh, yeah. What? What's going on? <laughs> can I run across those, or do I you can. jump them? You can just run across them. Oh, you probably want to trigger them so that they get blown up. Oh, good timing. Oh, yep. Smush. Oh. Ho -ho. Run across them. No! No, not up! Run! I'm not trying to run! I'm not trying to go up! Oh, you're gonna get hit? Nope. Oh, gosh. Run across them. I'm trying to jump! <laughs> this diagonal thing is really, really challenging sometimes. <laughs> no. Oh, you can't jump them! You can just run. No, but you can't jump them because it's no, too narrow. No, you don't need to. You just run. Just, just run? Run through yeah, them. It takes like a second before it blows up. There's nothing for me. Come on. Okay, you're gonna play the whole game? No. No. Okay. You can you can play. Oh, it got tricky. Me. It's a spike from the ceiling. <gasps> mean. So mean. Oh, oh what? whoa. That, that is a rather large hitbox. <laughs> it was. Can I not go up here? Not there. That's just decoration. You can climb up the middle. Oh, the middle. Yep. Oh. Caffeman 2D says, I can't uh, remember the difference between Antic 4 and Antic 5. Uh, uh, Ute or UTE says 24 versus 12 pixel rows <gasps> per mode line. No. <laughs> what happened? I got pushed onto the other screen. Oh, and it, and then you die? Yeah. Oh. Oh no. Oh, oh, that was so close. That was one pixel away from that. For sure. Mode 5 is 24, so 5 is half the vertical resolution there the same horizontally. Interesting. I do remember this level. I think I saw you play this. Those are walls. Don't get hurt. Okay. Oh, you're gonna get hurt. <gasps> I didn't know it was that close. It. My hand. Hit that's... the white. The white box there. Mow, mow. <laughs> oh. No. I feel really close to the edge there. I like that he has boxing gloves on. Doesn't aren't they like black gloves he has in one of his films? Probably. I didn't watch a lot of Bruce Lee films. I watched mostly Jackie Chan films. They were a lot more fun for me. Bruce Lee was like too good in his films. Like he was always kicking ass. Like he hit a person once and they go down. And um, Jackie Chan would like have to fight them a lot a long time he would get injured and um Actually, i think i have to drop down don't I? yes yeah. i do and go down the other side oh. yeah okay after this level we'll switch over my timing's not great yeah for the for yamo you have to j jump a little earlier than you think because he jumps pretty early if Bruce Lee hit me once, I'd go down. So it's realistic. It is realistic. That's for sure. <laughs> What's the nicest looking Atari 2600 game, new or old? In terms of like pure graphics and not gameplay, no sound, just like looking at the game and going, wow, that's an amazing game. Whew, what could you say? Map, he's pretty impressive. Xevious is really impressive. Um, I mean, pretty much 
any champ games <laughs> game. Graphically super impressive. Uh, Nathan Strum does all those graphics. Um, Jacker would get injured a good bit too while filming. Yes, that's true. Oh. Oh, you finished the level? No, I died. Oh, you're on another level. I thought I was hitting the lantern, but... <laughs> Two for one there. Oh, what are some other games? I'll have to look at my big list. Um, I, actually, a good way to judge that is to take a look at the nominees for the past four years oh, um, for there? the Atari Homebrew Awards. How do you get up there? Uh, you could jump diagonally. Oh, come maybe. on. I don't know. And then grab it. Try that. Yeah, there you go. There we go. Okay. Uh, Pac-Man. The original Pac-Man? Uh, for old, old stuff, Pitfall 2 is pretty much destroys almost everything. Um, for old stuff, I... For graphics... Um, Frankenstein? Frankenstein's Monsters, really good graphics. Um, what's the... Spider Fighter's really good, too. Hmm. Um, oh, where do you have to go? The left. Oh. I don't think you... Oh, you have to jump across, looks like. On the middle. Okay, my turn. Mow, play? Mow, no. Mow, okay. Mow. No, we're gonna switch over to the um, TIX version. Okay. No, I figure that. Ooh. There's a mow and cow. Mow, mow, mow. Hackman. <laughs> uh, the original Pitfall's really, really nice looking yeah. as well. So this is a much more challenging version. This TIX version. I'm excited. Oh, still beautiful intro screen. Yep. Same beautiful intro mm -hmm, screen. Mm-hmm. Oh, look, spam on my phone. Important notice from your bank. Please <laughs> visit this suspicious link that has nothing to do with the bank's domain name. And associated to an international uh, phone number. Mm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. my goodness. It definitely is my bank. Mm -hmm. There we go. You can see the graphics are uh, different for Bruce different. Lee and Yamo. Yeah, you're right. Bruce Lee's got a lot more hair, yeah. it seems. Uh, yeah. More accurate. Yeah. More accurate. Uh, roaming foes? Sure. Unlimited falls? Ha uh, yes, please. We'll keep them on green. Sprite collisions? Yes, because that is not much of a fun nice, game. Nice, nice. And you'll be playing Yamo. Me? Yep. Oh, I thought I was going to So you can, you can fight the... Uh, fight you? Fight the ninja or me, if you want. Oh. But. Oh, <laughs> is it... It can be collaborative or... Um... or cooperative or... Um... I'm going to show you something. I might have shown this last time. Oh, yes. Yeah, I, I... Secret area. Can you and go? Is there stuff? There's the original... Ah, nice. ...developer for the C64 version. Nice. Yeah. And then I think you just jump off there. There you go. Nice. So that's a nice little uh, Easter egg there. I usually don't discover Easter eggs. Maybe I saw it last time. I, I remember you showing Or I that. accidentally discovered it. I don't know. <laughs> Into the spikes with you. Hey! Into I didn't spikes. say I was going to injure you. I was going to help. Are you? I don't know. Can I get those lanterns? No. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, it did the controls take a bit of. Nice. I like the ammo. And you can press down to make them go meow, meow. Um. Oh, can't quite make it across there. Looks like he needs to go to the bathroom when he's not. No, uh, I can't get the lantern. See if he the lantern. When he stopped and not doing anything. Oh, what? The just happened there. He got smushed. Why is it triggering so fast? Because it's hard mode. Apparently. What is? Oh my god. Okay, what do I have to do here to? Uh, okay. 
to land in a specific spot. Oh my goodness. Very hard mode. And because of the graphics, he is a little bit narrower, like I said, so it's a little harder. And those, um, so he needs to go to the bathroom when he stop like this. Yeah, he's funny. And those box, oh my god, no, I delayed. Oh, I hit the side. Don't watch me. Keep playing your game. Yes, pixel perfect platforming. <laughs> On hard mode? Yes, hard mode. Oh. Oof. Don't punch me. Hey, I you landed punch on you. me. I can land on you, can I? It hurts me. Does it? Yeah. Go, go, go. There we go. Good timing. I always found this game really funny in terms of running. He always gets yeah. tripped up on things. He, like, kind of stumbles a bit at times. Come on. What's up, baby? Uh, I found this so hard when practicing. You have to go right to the edge. Oh, my God. Right to the edge. I know. I was playing it. It was very challenging. I'm sure it's even worse on hard mode. Yeah, there you go. Oh, just. <gasps> you get pushed over. Fun. Yeah, if you don't. I like the skeleton of Bruce Lee. Ah, no. That gets impaled on the spikes. Oh, can you climb up? Ooh. Uh, not quite. Skeleton. <laughs> it's skeleton uh, face. Yes. Kitten, kitten. Yes. Can I get up? Uh, uh, come on. Uh. Oh, no. You are going to be trouble today? Yeah, Sprite. 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 What are you up to? Oh, uh, uh, come on. Go up there. Go up there. Oh, oh, no. No. Ah. Uh. Can I get back up after I fall? No. That's why I said it to Unlimited Lives. Oh, he's, 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 uh, oh my goodness. Look where he is. Oh, that's <laughs> so very cute. cute. He's, he's just over uh, James's oh. right shoulder. And he's. Nope. Gone. Nope. Nope. No. <laughs> that's a good question. Is it hardware? I, it's, it, is there hardware collision on the yeah. eight bit? Oh, come on. Come on! Oh, what? what? Do you want... I don't even know. Like, Ute says it is possible to, to win this game. Yeah. On uh, the ticks mode. Yeah. Oh. Hardware collisions. Oh, okay, there are hardware collisions on you here. You just have to get to the far edge, I guess, before you jump. There. Oh, don't... Like, I Do can't. you jump? Did you jump a second I'm time? I'm holding jump, yeah. Maybe don't. Uh. Just push it once. <laughs> I may have to switch back. I was so far ahead. I felt like I was far ahead. I probably still had a few screens to go, but... Uh... Okay, not doing anything. No. Nope. Get closer. Oh, come on. Can you get any closer? No, I don't think so. Oh. Can you run it? Uh, can you, you run? You can run? Like, continuously run? I don't know if it helps. No, we need more close enough there. I could just stand here with my head smashing against this. <laughs> Poor Bruce Lee. Oh, oh, oh. Is it possible to make mm. it? Oh, I'm a little bit further there. And you can't up? continually run? Like uh, jump and just run? I'll try and jump and run. Let's see. No. No. Let me try and jump and duck, maybe? Oh. Maybe. Duck. Nope. 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 Uh, so I've tried jumping and jumping, jumping and running, jumping and ducking, jumping and punching. That's as far over as I can go. I'm, I don't think I can get... No, I just fall off. So that is as far as I can go. Is two of my pixels like that. Okay. My feet. Is, your your is foot one is in. still on there. I can't make Feels it. Feels like it's a pixel too short, doesn't it? Yeah. Can you run and jump? Does that get you Maybe any I can further? Adjust it. No. Maybe I can adjust it so my foot doesn't land there. No. That's the same. Oh. There. That's just a little bit lower. Let me try. 
It's the Almost. same. <laughs> yes, might have Original to sprites with hard mode. It's oh, the so... combination of har of hard mode and Tix's sprites, I yeah. think. So I'm going to do the original with hard mode. I think it's just a little too much. Mm. So you did get to see Tix's um, graphics, so. Mm. It is cruel. <laughs> <laughs> too cruel for me. I, I think it's just a little too... Sprites already give a big disadvantage. Yeah. Yeah, it is hard, but it is hard mode inherently. Yes. Um, playing with, the, with those graphics. sprites. Yeah. They're really cool, though. They, they look are. really good. I like yeah. the original sprites, too, though. The original ones are good. Yeah. yeah. We, are, we have both cats here right now. The yeah. black cat is blending into the background. You can't even see him on the cat. <laughs> but he's there. Okay, hard mode on. Roaming foes. Unlimited falls. Yes. You can play Yamo. Oh. Again. Yeah, Yamo's not in every, every screen. So. No, not in this one. And then when I go underground, in some of the screens, he's not. I won't, I won't fight you. Probably because it's too cruel on some screens. It's, it's just too hard. So there are spikes <laughs> on some of die. these screens. He's very foolish. Nope. Ah! If you look at the mountains on this screen, there is a little tiny bit of animation there. Yeah. It's like some moving... I don't know what it is up there. Oh my god! Where is Yamo going? Look! Oh my goodness! I want to do that again! Okay. <laughs> Yamo's in the mountains! How did I get in the mountains? Obviously the... Oh my god. What the hell? <laughs> how, how do you do that? How did I do this? Oh, I wonder if Bruce far. Lee can get up in the mountains. If you can, I bet I can too. How did you do it? I was at the top and I went jump and jump and I just jumped up to that upper level. This is so hard. The triggering is so fast. It is. Do you have to run past it then jump? But then yes. I'm too far. Oh, I don't trigger it. Okay. Just get up. Guys. Stop interfering with me. No one's interfering with you. <laughs> well, the ninja was. Did Tanya do her bug finding during the show again? Yes, yep. I do like to find bugs. So let's... Where did... You jump from the top? I think on the, from the left-hand side? Yeah, but I was doing the, the diagonal jump. Oh, my God. I don't think I can get back there. Was it on this screen? Yeah, it was yeah, on this yeah, screen. Yeah, we're still on the same screen. So I ran from here. Oh, yeah, I ran off ran, the screen. You ran from here. Yeah. And you jumped up. Well, I can't get up that high. Yeah. Oh, Yamo can do it. Hi. Hey, what are you doing up there? <laughs> Is it fun up in the mountains? Oh, you can get even higher. Keep going. Keep going. Oh, you're on top of the mountain. It's because it has hardware. <laughs> hardware collision. Oh, that's so funny. <laughs> Atari, you take collisions are based on colors. Funny, I never actually tried that. <laughs> <laughs> oh. It's awesome. I'm run, on the mountain. Run, run along the mountain. Go down. Keep I, going. I do fall off. Keep going. Oh, from there? Yeah. From the white? Oh. Oh, that's so funny. It's because you hit your head on that white, I guess? I had to start from that far side. Yeah. I can see if I can die and end up on that level. You can jump back up. And yeah. Jump across. Okay, I gotta try that again. Get up there. Come on, you. King of the mountain. Yeah, it's Fu awesome. Fujiyoma. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my oh. gosh. Sorry, I'm not the greatest jumper. Come on, you. Get up there. You can try. You have to get to the far edge. Okay. So, I... No, I started from the far edge. Uh, far left? Yeah. Oh! I just don't run. Can you get up to the moon? Ooh, you should try that oh. next time. So, I had to start on the far left. Yes. Right right at the... Well, start there. Yes. And then I just did jump, jump twice. Right from that starting oh. point. No, no, not for me. Try it for you. I think only, only you can do it. And then it pushed the me up. Go to the moon. Jump to the left. Yep. No, jump to the left. Oh. Do it again. Come on, get up there. There we go. Oh, oh I, I ran off the screen. Oh, no. Here, I'll, I'll reset you on the left. Oh, I didn't make it far enough. You should try what I did, though, and see if it will... Okay, so I 
started here. Ah! Oh, Again, no, and I... Yeah, I'll reset. Oh, what? Uh, try, go off for a few more seconds. Or I'll die. Oh. I'll die. Okay, go off. And come back on. Okay. There we go. Okay, and then go I jumped. The moon, go to the left. Jump to the left. Jump, don't... Don't run to the left. Jump. Oh! oh! I told you I'm not a good jumper. Okay, let's reset. Okay. Let's press up and rotate to the left then. Oh! Yeah! <laughs> Yay! You made it to the other mountain. Okay, you gotta jump up to the moon and then up to the up to the score. Up, climb up the moon. Up. I oh, can't. Oh, there's an upper limit. There's an upper you limit. Can, I'm on the moon. You can, cl you can <laughs> climb on the, the moon. This is the best episode ever. <laughs> <laughs> you can climb onto the moon. Climb left and right on the moon. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Oh my goodness. I love oh, it. Oh, my head doesn't... You're taller than me? Maybe. And that's why you can... Oh, you can climb on that. I can climb on all the white bits. Oh, that's so funny. <laughs> Jammo oh. in the moon. Oh, that's so good. <laughs> I need to have you two do all the bug testing. This is not a bug. This oh, is a God. feature. It's a feature. <laughs> it's so awesome. Yammo is powerful. Yammo. Don't forget this guy over here. Yeah, well, I get that last. Oh, down. I can't. Oh, I just yell. Mow, mow. <laughs> Mow, mow. Oh, go underneath me, go underneath me, go underneath me. Oh, God, perfect timing. <laughs> that so was awesome. Funny. That was awesome. Yeah, I think you're right because he's just a tad taller. Much taller. It bounced me up. His head it went, just Where are it. you? Oh, you should be up here. And it kind of it pulls you up to that level. Oh, you see? See, my. My yeah. left foot. Oh, you, you're gives further me off now. On yeah. on the other one, it's yeah. not as far over. You're right. Look how look how far I can easily make that. Easily. Yeah, easily. Ah. That this is where I found it challenging. I'm very happy to have witnessed this. <laughs> that was so awesome. Oh, it was. <laughs> it's a feature. I'm glad I got him up there eventually, too. <laughs> <laughs> yes, up to the moon. I wonder if I can duck below that. Below the... No. No, no. no. Well, that was too close as well. Oh, my God. This is difficult on hard mode. You can barely... It's, Jump it's, too far. It's super hard to time it. Like, I just did it so many times before I finally got over. What happened to the black cat? What is he oh, he's sleeping. Oh. Hi, gray cat. Hi, Atari. Oh, you can barely make it out of the way. No, because your body gets there. Yeah, you just have to there. perfectly time it. Oh, good job. Oh, I'm back. <laughs> I'm back. Oh, I knew it. I hesitated. Don't watch me. You have to go right away as soon as it lifts up. Yeah, you have to. Nope. Because <laughs> it, it's only up for a, the length of time you can make it under it. That's fair. I love that you can make him yell. Ow. Oh, you killed me. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Down we go. Into the pit. Oh no, I missed one. No, I'm gonna die. I want all the lanterns. I want all the lanterns. fast as I thought it was. It is faster on hard. Oh, God. Oh, 
go, go, go. Oh, I made it? What? That did not look like I made it. Oh, that didn't. Oh, make it that better. timing is, I think, harder than the easy mode. It looks a lot oh, harder. Oh, it's faster. Way faster. Fortunately, you yeah, pretty much have, have to, to go immediately. The timing with the lantern. I was trying to get the lamp. What? My, f oh, my foot just barely caught it. The fact that Boosley stumbles sometimes because it's hardware collision, it makes it so hard. Like when you start, you see, he stumbled again. Yeah. Oh, but he didn't die for some reason. Again. I think he just made that. Funny. Oh, he stumbles so much. Oh, yeah. I, I noticed that for that, if it just grazes your head, you're okay. Yeah, the head doesn't collide. Yeah. Taking care of that ninja for me. Ba, 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 ba. Uh, so today I had to go because uh, of my birthday. Uh, yesterday I had to go renew my license because my five years are up. And um, when I got there, there was a big lineup. That's crazy. Of people. Oh, God waiting to get in and I was like oh okay have they not opened and then I checked their opening times and it was like they're opening at 8 30. I got there at 11 o'clock right um and then I quickly learned that uh, what do I have to fall down from the left so no do you see there's it's cut off at the top there that mm -hmm. ledge yeah you just have to jump back over, but or fall off that ledge. Yeah, but yeah. you have to fall off there, right, and then go do it. Oh God, that was way too early of a jump. That was so stupid. Took me much longer. This is sort of like Pitfall. Pitfall Two, very, very similar in terms of um, there's different screens. Um, Pitfall Two scrolled up and down. What? Oh, this hard mode. <laughs> Everything's a little bit further. Oh, the jump. You don't jump as far. That's that's the difference in hard mode. No, you can't get lanterns. That's a shame. Only I can get lanterns. That's a shame. And in Pitfall, you're going after um, gold, gold bars. Okay. I'm going to have to do this. Oh, you can jump off that. I have one more to get over here. Oh, he's going to get me. You're not doing your job. I never said I had a job. <laughs> I My job is to jump to the moon. <laughs> that is right. my job. That's your whole reason yep. of existing. That was the coolest thing ever. <laughs> that was super funny. Uh, oh, he's going to get me. No, he ran off the screen. Weird. He does that a lot. Does he run off the screen a lot? So weird. Oh, you kicked him into that. <laughs> oh, just running through it. He's such a stumbly, stumbly guy in this game. <laughs> um, okay, so yeah. So I quickly learned that there, some people have been there for hours, um, and that their computer system had been down for 20 hours already. So from the day before? The, di the day before. Which would have been a weekend, so pro they probably weren't open, but no, still. No, they probably weren't, they weren't open. Oh. Here's the Mowing Cow. Mow, 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 mow. mow. <laughs> um, so I thought... Uh, okay, they've already been down for 20 hours. Okay. What are the chances of them getting their system back up mm. while I'm standing here in the next X minutes or hours? Mm. So I set myself a hard time limit. I'd already kind of waited an hour at that point. Uh, what is happening? <laughs> what? You're running into oh, it. Oh, I have to trigger it, don't I? You have to jump over it, maybe? Oh. Oh god. Oh, 
That's tight. Oh my god. On the hard mode. Where's the ammo brutal. when you need him? Right. He could do some to the trigger. You have to jump and get that lantern now. Oh my god. I don't think so. Hmm. I wonder if it's possible. Oh, it is. Okay. Yeah. But I'll trigger it first. He's stumbly! He's so stumbly! Oh, okay. you have to do it all over again. It's okay. something to trigger them. You don't have to get the lanterns, at least. Oh. Oh, he doesn't turn around fast enough. <laughs> Look at him stumble all the time. Oh, my God! <laughs> That's a creepy-ass cow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. This is so hard. I think I need to trigger it just... Like, I'm running too far into it. Yeah. I don't need to run that far into it. Just need to run a, like a little bit like that into it. That's that's why. Come on, I'm holding left. I can't run any faster. Like, I literally can't run any faster. It's because he like you see those points where he goes. Uh, uh, like, watch. Well, now he's not doing it, but. You, you all saw it. Oh, that was just stupidity on my part. But he does that. He, he just... Look! Stumbles! Stumbles the cat. Come on. Stop being stumbly. <laughs> you can do it. Okay, just run through that. That's no, all you need to no, do. No, no, no. Yeah. You That's have it. to trigger it. Oh, James. Trigger it? No, the door is open. There's the door the... is not open. You still have to clear that wall at the end. You still have one more wall. You have to hit the... No. no. Yes. Oh. <laughs> it's not my fault when that happens. I don't know. It's not, because I'm just running. Literally. Like, what is happening there? I'm running as fast as I can. <laughs> And you can't jump over them because there's a wall there. So you have to just go over them. Come on. Come on. Why do you keep dying there? Why does he keep dying there? What is going on here? Okay, why do you keep dying here? Just run. Just run through it as fast as you Are can. Are you maybe going up or? Just holding it. You may you might want to get closer to it before you run. Maybe. You know, maybe you're just too far away and it's triggering a little early. Maybe I need to run at it? No, like get closer and then run. Oh. No, I need to run at it. He does start off a little slow. Yeah. He does. Yes, he does. Okay. Oh, that's something. What? He can't jump over its steps, unfortunately, I'll, I'll because try, but I don't think the, so. the wall is in the way, right? See? Yeah. Yeah, you just die. Yeah. Because you hit the wall and then you land Unless on it. Unless you can jump through, like you can kick through it. Oh. Maybe. <laughs> that was little, interesting. He's having a little trouble with yeah. kicking through it. Yeah, yeah, I think you go a little too high. You might. I'll try again. I think but... your head gets caught. Yeah, your head gets caught. <laughs> and he flips out. Uh, the toko, I gave up on this hard mode. It's frustrating. <laughs> <laughs> I like that his head actually gets caught. It does. Yeah, because you have to kind of duck when you you duck when you. But he stops. He does jump up. That is super weird. Can I duck? Should I take a run at it? You have to take uh, a run at it. I think. That helps. Yeah. But then you oh, don't want to trigger the one before his you. His head gets stuck. Like oh, I, so you can't. I can't go you're back. not triggering the one before you. Oh, that's what you do. You go to the far edge. <laughs> Then run. Yay! Oof. That was insane. So there is a specific Oof. way of doing it. Um, that. Yeah. yeah. Are you protected for the f from the flame by ducking? Um, I don't. I don't think so. I think your head is high enough that yeah. it just hits it. Yeah. No. <laughs> Ugh. Uh. Oh, you have to run under those. They block Ugh. your path. Oh, that's what happened. Yeah, you have to. Oh, 
Oh, maybe not. Oh, I just... Oh, that was very close. Yeah. At least, at least you don't exactly start from scratch. No. Oh, that's so rough. It's so hard, because you have timing. to anticipate something that's not actually even there yet. Yeah. It does seem to have a bit of forgiveness. Oh, you, have to you jump. Pause a second yeah, one. You, you jump a little too fast on that second one. Excuse me. Ooh, ooh. So there's a lantern up there. Oh, now I have to scale across this. No! Do I have to jump over that somehow? I don't think so. I think I just have to be really quick about it. Like, really, really quick, as soon as I can. Yeah, there we go. And then I, this should turn it off. There we go. Well, and that opens up that ladder. Okay. No! 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 Oh, what the hell? <sighs> Ladder still? Oh, it is. Okay. Come! Oh my God! I'm not close enough to the ladder. Oh, I'm too far. It is. A, it's a challenging game. It's. It's one of those kind of almost pixel perfect game. There is some some latitude on some of the parts, but. Okay. Mr. So Nature. I think once you're up here, you can't get back down. No, I can't. That's fine. I think you just get two lanterns and then uh, climb up the water. Yeah. Or not. Is it reverse? Is it slow down? Oh, oh no. there we go. Oh, up, up, up. Getting closer. Or not. Way back? I don't know. Maybe not. Oh, now it's going up. There we go. It just took a while before it turned. This is. Oh, you just have to get a lot of lanterns on these two. Oh, I remember this level, yeah. yeah. Puts me where I wanted to be. <laughs> it's nice. Sometimes it works in your favor. Watch out for the dude! There Get him. Two hits. Two hits. Two more lanterns to get. Then I think the exit's on the other one. It's not up there on the right? Or is uh, that... That's where I came from. Oh, true. It probably will open up somewhere then. Mm, no, I think it is on the other screen. Right. Up at the top? No. Oh, there's another screen. Three screens. Oh, you didn't get them all yet, I guess. No. So, Sprite has been a naughty cat as of late. He is a teenager. Yes, and he's exhibiting terms. teenage activity by teenage rebelling. Teenage behavior. <laughs> teenage behavior. Um, so, explain what his latest... Um, Endeavor. Endeavor. Hobby. <laughs> has been. Uh, destroying the toilet paper roll. Uh, That's his favorite pastime. So we've been finding... Do you it, climb up the top there? In the middle? Making sure... Uh, yeah, middle? I've got all those. Yep. Yeah. yeah, it's in the middle. So... I, we've never had a cat who's done this before. I know it's common with cats. It is very common, but we've luckily never had a cat like this. Where he will not only destroy oh there's a bonus level 
Uh. But you can't get on this side when you see it normally. Can you get off the left? Yeah. Um. Go, 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 go. He will not only unravel it, but he will put his teeth into it and destroy it. Oh, oh I made it. Sometimes you can't just it's click your head. kind of delayed me a yeah. bit. So we found the toilet paper roll on multiple occasions mm -hmm. to be on the ground, shredded, and unraveled. Oh, I don't remember this part. Like jumping on a temporary platform. I don't remember that. Mm -hmm. What is that stuff in the middle? Just dead, I guess. Yeah. Don't need to go there. It'll just kill you. So he's been very, very naughty, Cat. Um... Also, he's been biting your ankles during feeding time. Yeah, he's been a very bad dad. For no reason. He doesn't do it to me, for some reason. So you have to get them while they're open. Or gray? Or black? What's the normal state? Gray. Okay. Oh my god. That was close. So when they're gray, I have to get them. What else has he been doing? He's been stealing things from behind the couch. Sorry? He died. I know. The timing is so hard By, with getting the lanterns and avoiding that. It's so hard because the lanterns were flashing in and out. Mm. And also the thing was going at different times. It's so difficult. Uh, Mandy Sipping Tea says, if she can get to the mine and spread in that cat... Will shred whole rolls of paper towels. Oh wow! That's a naughty cat. That is a naughty cat. Yeah, he all of a sudden just. Oh, oh oh what oh. hit me? Is there two? Is there no, two? I think there's just one. I was just unlucky. I didn't. I wasn't even near it. What is um, happening? Uh, what was I gonna say? Paper towels. That's a big mess. Yeah. Uh, so he. He'll bite them. And... He will just destroy the the toilet paper roll. Yeah, by biting into it, so it goes deep, deep, deep into yeah. it. Yeah. Um, okay, that was that looked like a bug, because I was nowhere near the mm. the box. Okay, watch, watch. Nowhere near. It's off the screen. It's all good. Okay, good. <gasps> Woo! We're getting close. We're getting very, I feel very, like you're close. very close. Very um, close. Yeah, and it's just a habit he's just picked up. And actually, he picked it up while we were away on vacation with the person who was cat-sitting. Yeah, so and, we came um, back to that. So we took it off the holder, and so that seemed to prevent him from doing it for a little while. A little bit. And now, though, he is basically... Oh, he's basically... We've taken it off the robe and put it next to the sink, and now he chews it on the sink. So yeah. now we have to hide it in our He's drawer. He's like, oh, there's a toilet paper. Yeah, oh, you just moved it. Thank you. Um, <laughs> uh, oh, I got to stand still and do that. You have to jump backwards, maybe. I don't know. Or run it. Run, just oh, run. Oh, yeah, I can so just run. You should be able oh to oh, outrun it, I, was it, thinking I think. Of... Um, you can, yeah. Anyway, he's a bad cat. Very cute, very bad. Very fluffy, very, very bad. Very fluffy, very bad. <laughs> Oh, come on. Uh, it's, it's it's the most dangerous in the middle there, I think. Please don't count how many lives I've used. Whole rolls of paper towels. That's terrible. I cannot imagine. That is that is a cat that wants to destroy things. <laughs> yes. You can't outrun it? Uh, you can, but I just have to get the timing so that... Jump and then run. And then just run. Oh, now you're running with it. That's much easier. <laughs> it is, actually. Ooh, that one. Ooh. Oh, I don't get the lantern. Ah, uh, no. What happened? Uh, Did it I hit you? It hit my, my uh, foot as oh, I was no. jumping up. Oh, my God. You I can't close the door to the bathroom. Unfortunately, the bathroom is where their litter box is. Yeah. So, um, and... Uh, you don't have another place for it. We don't have a, a one of these fancy apartments with two bathrooms. <laughs> um, so, yeah, we have no. to keep the door open. <laughs> uh, or they'd be very upset. <laughs> uh, we'd be upset after they'd be upset. Yeah. Oh, 
Oh my god, I'm doing stupid things. We <laughs> taste like hard mode is tough. Yes, yes, it is. It is. <laughs> I can't imagine doing this game without infinite lives. Yeah. I mean, the game is hard to begin with. Mm -hmm. um, it's it's a quite a variety of platforming. Oh no, no, no! Oh, oh my god, you that got was... it. Chic Gamer says, I had a torty that liked to unroll the toilet paper. I had a cat that liked to unroll to toilet paper in the past, too. And he would just... No, 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 jump! Oh. oh! Bad falling timing. And, like, the whole thing would be on the floor. Oh, my God. Fun just, that like, she so... unrolled and then re-rolled it the other way during the night, which was kind of impressive. <laughs> so that is just... impressive. That's a smart cat. So it was just a, like, kind of disheveled... Disheveled toilet paper yeah. all rolled back up? That's, That's funny. funny. Torties, oh, torties run, are cute cats. Run! You run a tiny bit faster. Yeah. Oh, no, 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 Captain Benji no, no. put again. his litter box in the basement behind a door shelf, a closed shelf door with a cat hole cut into it. Yeah. I've seen some nice. really cool um, planters yeah. where it's like a box with a cat hole and, and the litter box is hidden in there. Yep, those are very cool. Um, but it works out well in the bathroom right now. So um, other than this this beautiful, oh no, toilet paper rolling thing uh, that he's started up. But uh, he's young. Cats get He's habits. young and silly. Like hopefully he'll grow out of it. Yeah. We'll hope. just keep it out of sight for a while and then try it in a month. I don't know. Okay. Yay. Just run. Run. You don't need to get it. Oh. 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 Just to, like, stop and Oof. twitch for a second. Nice. Oh, i just go. Okay, that one's done. I have to do the left one. And then the middle. Easy mode is easier. Yes, it is. Things, uh, the enemies aren't as frequent. Like those boxes aren't as frequent. Yeah. On so this is just a ducking level, I believe. Just, you just duck and then. So are these levels what duck. you recall from uh, the oh, six? No. no, the the There's last a brand one. New. Um, the multi path yeah. one is that that is oh come on, is is one of the screens, and there's there's a lot of like um obstacles that are similar but they're just mm. done differently and, and laid out differently i think the only screen that is the yeah, same yeah. is the um was that last screen with the three uh, um what come on with the three options okay now you go down mm, there's nowhere else to go uh. and then this fills in and it's boss time oh my okay so if i remember go back oh, oh, okay my. okay you just have to jump over those and go back and forth mm. which is not the hardest thing in the world just have to remember what a great boss though oh it's gorgeous looks fantastic <gasps> oh it no, takes a tiny. while to jump yeah he is kind of a slow jumper isn't he yes yes so get ready to jump Actually, I should do this like every time I do it yeah. and then just jump and go because there's not really enough time anyway to do a full two of them yeah true just a better uh, better time better tactic and then you're running you yeah. get a nice long jump in there <gasps> probably one of the easiest bosses in any game in any even game. the original one's really easy too nice see so yeah, I still have 10 lives <laughs> is again victorious. Again. <laughs> again. The evil emperor has been defeated. He's automatically jumping. Peace, prosperity, and equality for all. That's all it took? <laughs> that was awesome. Original it looks game. beautiful. Copyright Data Soft 1984. Very, very beautiful, beautiful game. game. New maps beautiful and sounds. Game. DMX. Title screen by Spark. And Atari title screen, TIX. Sprites and Atari. Sprites and Atari. Atari, uh, uh, what's this called? Return of Fury. Port of the Atari by Ute and Phantomas. Playtesting TJ Laser. McLean Inc. Zero Page Homebrew. Wow. Thank you so much. And TIX. Yeah. To be continued. Oh. Oh, it's 
so this is word. may continue onward yeah. past the C64 version and be its own thing. Now he did add a note to the release notes. Um, the to be continued on the last screen, yes, I have other ideas for Bruce Lee games, nice. although I will be probably going in a different direction than DMX. Yeah. This is, of course, if people are interested. Definitely. Yes. This is amazing. It's beautiful. Maybe Bruce Lee's played out. Feedback, thoughts, and a show of interest would be good, and of course, time pending. Um, yeah, I love platforming games. Yeah. The sequel set, set on, on the, the moon. moon. <laughs> Perfect idea. Less gravity. You yeah. can jump higher. Yeah. Bruce Lee on the moon. Yamo on the moon. Yamo on, <laughs> make, make Yamo the, yeah, there the star. Yeah, there you go. The star of the next one. That would be great, actually. <laughs> oh, thank you for following Carbon 16. Um, yeah, I have definitely interest, interest in the sequel. Yamo as the main character would be hilarious. And have Bruce Lee, like, come in and out of the game. Maybe. Like, make him... Make him the bad guy. The bad guy? Yeah. <laughs> no, or you can play the bad guy. Bruce yeah. Lee's the good guy, but you go. you're trying to defeat Bruce Lee or do something like that. <laughs> the moon would be a great idea. A moon base. A moon base. Yeah. Yamo on the moon. Yamo on the moon. <laughs> that was so much fun. It is, this yeah. Um, that's great. It looks like you fixed, like, all the bugs that we had trouble with last time. Yeah. Um, and the Yamo being able to hop up to the top of your screen is just a bonus. It's Don't a fix bonus. that. Don't fix it. Because no. that's a great Easter egg yeah. for anybody playing it. It's and so it's you have to play Yamo because Bruce Lee didn't get up there, right? He's not so, tall well, we didn't try too, too much, but yeah. uh, no, I think that's awesome. <laughs> so great stuff, Ute. Yes. Oh, he says the moon would be a great idea for the next one. I agree. Um, so we had lots of fun playing letting us have the yeah. uh, exclusive premiere of the final version of this. Uh, Ute is going to be posting it in the Atari Age forums yeah. for people to download. You can play it yourself on your Atari or your emulator and uh, see if you can make it to the end without cheating, without unlimited lives. <laughs> oh my god. Maybe on easy mode it'll be a lot easier. But I wanted to play hard mode to, to see how hard it is. No joystick input on the last one? No, level? Nostalgic said, can you run off the platform? And oh, I was like, no. no. You oh, you can punch. Oh, maybe not. A little bit. Or is he just punching? No, you can punch. That's it. Just punching. That's funny. So there is joystick and punch. Just a little tiny bit. A tiny bit. bit. The button. He's just posing. <laughs> That's right. Um, so, great stuff. Thank you to everybody involved. Phantomas, TIX, mm -hmm. Ute, especially Ute, thank you so much for letting us play this game. Super fun. On the show. Looking forward to other games you'd be making, especially the sequel. Yep. Um, great stuff. Um, so, coming up on the show, we are we have one more show left before we go to PRGE, uh, which is a very big one. Mm -hmm. uh, it's uh, apparently Let's Play Let's Play. I need to delete one of those. Uh, Load Runner 2600, the exclusive world premiere of that game uh, for the Atari 2600, of course, done by uh, Dion Olsthorn. Mm -hmm. Dionoid will have him on the show talking about how he got the game officially licensed. Cool. Yes. So this is that's an right. official game, just yeah. like the just like Boulder Dash, the new release. This is official as well, sanctioned um, really cool. by the uh, Zo Zo Zotac, some, yeah. something like that. Starts with a Z. Because um, 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 Load Runner has changed hands a number of times since yes. its inception. Mm -hmm. um, so we'll have them live on the show talking about the show. Uh, talk about not the show. His talking game. about the game. <laughs> yeah. He doesn't care about the show. Uh, <laughs> um, and uh, how he developed it, um, what uh, led him to choose this game, and how he was able to make it an official game. And it's going to be coming out at PRGE, so you can pick it up there. Uh, thank you, Dan. Uh, we had a lot of fun with, it was the, really fun. with the game as really well. It was a really fun game. Um, and then we're at Portland Retro Gaming Expo. We're going to be doing a ton of interviews. A lot of developers are going to be there. Mm -hmm. Just running through my list today. There is a meetup if you are going to Portland Retro Gaming Expo on the Saturday night, 8 p.m. to midnight at Ground Control. Mm -hmm. Great arcade in Portland. Um, then after we have a whole bunch of games we're going to be playing there's some atari 8-bit 7800 day 2600 day mm -hmm. then we'll be playing the abbuc 2022 entries at the beginning of november 
because the contest ends the end of December, uh, end of uh, October. Mm -hmm. um, and then I need to move the Atari Age Day 2022 Fall Edition. It's probably going to be two days mm -hmm. um, up till November. Oh, because, November. Okay. Because that's when all these games that are at PRG are going to be released in November before Christmas to the public before nice. Christmas awesome. through the Atari Age Store. Awesome. So awesome. we're going to have all the developers on the show talking about their games, and we'll be looking at the boxes. Tanya's going to have a game marathon, playing through all the games. Super fun. That'll be lots of fun. Mm -hmm. Uh, you're very welcome, Rendered Ghost. Um, and then we have a lot more uh, special shows coming up that we'll talk about when they get more solidified. Um, so thank you so much for tuning in, everyone, especially the people who chatted and uh, talked with uh, Ute, U-T-E. Thank you for uh, coming on the show once again mm -hmm. uh, or on the chat and letting us play your game. Thank you for watching Rendered Ghost. And if you see Atari Ute, 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 <laughs> Nostalgic, uh, Steps, <laughs> uh, Vitokyo, Cafe Man 2D, uh, Miss Command, Sheet Gamer, Mandy Sipping Tea, Cats, stop it. <laughs> Atari. Uh, Steps, J Win 250, Sparrow the Dragon. Yep. Uh, uh, Jwin250, first time chatter, welcome. Oce Oceanics. Uh, Cat. Cat. Nobody wants that as a soundtrack. No, silly kitty. Stop it. Um, Don't know if you said steps, but steps at the bottom. Oh, steps. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, we're getting to the, the top now. People. Vitoko, I think I said our BR Pocock. Oh. There's a new name. Opcode Games. Opcode Games, yeah. welcome. Uh, Phaser Cat Phaser games, games as well. And yeah, everybody else who there. did not chat. Yes. Thank you all for the lurkers. tuning in. All the lurkers. Oh, oh old, old style. style. Just, One of the lurkers. <laughs> just got it in. So uh, we'll be back on yes. not Friday. That next show is on Saturday. The one with Dianoid. Yes. Yeah. So we it's had a to special day. We had to shift it a bit. Shift it for times so yep. that um, everyone can participate. That's right. And so it'll be on Saturday morning. Saturday yeah. at noon, yeah. early show. Yeah. Um, so hopefully everybody will be able to make it then. And it'll be a lot of fun playing that new game. So we will see you then. Uh, have a good yes. week and we'll see you on Saturday. Yeah. Remember, Saturday. Okay. Talk to you soon. Yeah. Bye bye. Have a good night.